Hello Year 4 and today we are going to start our new science topic. Okay, so some things that we've already had a look at. We've already answered some questions such as what is a property of a material and can you describe any properties of metals? And we are going to be looking to answer the following questions. What appliances run on electricity? What is a series circuit? Can you name some components in a circuit? How can we make a lamplight? And what is a conductor? What is an insulator? Okay, so our new topic is electricity. And we're going to start with our knowing more, remembering more. So our first question, air is a gas, true or false? Pause the video and answer that question. Question two, which of the following is not a stage of the water cycle? Is it evaporation, condensation, precipitation or boiling? Pause the video and answer that question. Question three, what is the name of the change of state from ice to water? Pause that question and answer that there. And the last one, which process happens at 100 degrees Celsius for water? Is it evaporation or boiling? Okay, so pause the video, make sure you've answered those questions before we go on to the answers. Okay, let's see how we did. Question one, air is a gas that is true. Our next question, question two. Which of the following is not a stage of the water cycle? The answer is boiling. We know that evaporation, condensation and precipitation are all part of the water cycle. So the answer must have been boiling. Question three, what is the name of the change of state from ice to water? That is the process of melting, to melt. Which process happens at 100 degrees Celsius for water? Is it evaporation or boiling? The answer is boiling. Okay, so we are going to be having a look at the question of what household items use electricity? We are going to be able to name some appliances that use electricity. We are going to sort appliances that use mains electricity from those that use battery power and to be able to explain how I stay safe around electricity. We've got some keywords such as mains power, battery power, electricity and safety. Think about your morning routine. So on your piece of paper that you should have in front of you, what is your morning routine? What does your morning routine look like when you're getting ready for school? Think about five things you do around the house before leaving for school. So on a normal school day, think about five things that you do around the house before you leave the house for school. Okay, now looking at your five things that you do around the house before leaving for school, how many of these activities need electricity? So how many of those activities require some form of electricity? Look around the room that you're in, so where you're sitting now. What, can, what uses electricity? Can you see anything in the room around you that uses electricity? Okay, I'm going to show you a video now. And I would like you to think about the question, what uses electricity? I would like you to watch the video and list all the items you can see that use electricity. So everything that you see in the video that uses electricity. Okay, get ready to watch the video. You'll remember you're looking for everything that uses electricity. It's first thing in the morning and it's time for breakfast. How many things that use electricity can you see? Breakfast, darling. That would be lovely. You look like you need waking up.
Okay, so while you're watching that video, you should have been making a list of all the different things that you could see that used electricity. Okay, if you need a little bit more time just to finish up your list, you can pause the video, but I'm now going to go on and I'm going to share with you some of the things that were in the video that use electricity. So we had an electric toothbrush, a microwave, a kettle, a toaster. There was a washing machine or dryer, a radio, a fridge, an iron, a clock, a watch, a hair dryer, some hair straighteners, a calculator, an iPod, a mobile phone, a torch, a car key and a doorbell. Have a look on your list. Did you manage to find all of these? Did you find anything else? How did you do? If you need to pause the video now to have a look, that's absolutely fine. Okay. So we've ticked off that first success criteria now. We've been able to name some appliances that use electricity. Which of the items below use electricity? So we've got a kettle and we have got a torch. Which one uses electricity or which of them use electricity? Okay, so this is a bit of a trick question. They actually both use electricity but they do use electricity differently. Have a think, how do they use electricity different? Dif how do they use electricity differently? Okay, so the difference is mains electricity versus a battery. Some electrical items are powered by the mains like the kettle. So that's powered by mains electricity. And this is when we plug something in to use it. So that might be like your kettle in the previous slide so we can see our kettle here is plugged into the mains whereas some things are powered by batteries so if we look back at our torch inside this handle there'd be some batteries providing that power for it to work and some electrical items can use both so i'd like you to sort your appliances so use a Venn diagram to show the items that are powered by mains electricity or by battery or by both. So what does a Venn diagram look like? Your Venn diagram is going to look something like this. Don't worry if your circles aren't perfect, as long as they're big enough for you to fit your words in. So fit in all your appliances. So you're going to have electricity, you're going to have battery. So in this space, you'll have electricity. In this space, you'll have battery. And in the middle, you will have both. That is how we're going to label each section. So we'll have our mains electricity, our battery, and both will be in the middle. Okay. So we've got those appliances that we saw in the video that all use electricity. And those are the ones that you need to put into your Venn diagram. Okay, so you've got your appliances around the edge there and you need to sort those into your Venn diagrams. So you're going to find each one and decide whether it uses mains electricity, battery electricity or both. So I'm going to give you a few moments to have a go at doing that. You can pause the video while you sort your appliances. Okay, if you're finished, we are now going to go through those answers. If you're not finished, just pause the video again and give yourself some more time. So I'm going to go through some answers now. We've got straighteners. Now straighteners are going to go into our mains electricity. Hair straighteners plug in at the wall so that uses mains electricity. A car key. Now a car key wouldn't be very good if it plugged in at the wall. So a car key would be battery operated. Okay, so that's, mo we, that's mobile. We take that with us. That will be operated by a battery. You wouldn't have a car key of a cable plugged into the wall. Okay, the next one, a kettle. So a kettle plugs in at the wall, that is mains electricity. A torch will go onto battery. Okay, so a torch is powered by a battery. A clock will be powered by a battery. You've got a hairdryer, now that will be powered by mains electricity, that plugs in at the wall. An electric toothbrush, that will be powered by a battery. A doorbell will be powered by a battery. Your fridge would be powered by mains. You'd plug your fridge in at the wall. An iPad 
would be powered by both. So it could be powered by both. It runs off a battery, but it also can be plugged in at the wall. A radio could be powered by both. So that can use mains electricity and a battery. An iron could be both. That could be mains electricity or battery. A watch would be battery operated. A microwave would be mains electricity and a washing machine would be mains electricity. So that would plug in at the wall. Have a look at yours. Did you manage to get all of those right? See how you did. Okay, if you need a bit more time, feel free to pause the video, but now we're going to move on. What would life be like without electricity? What would life be like without electricity? I'm going to give you a few minutes just to watch this video. Have you ever wondered, what would life be like without electricity? Well, I'm stood next to one of my favourite electricity demos here at Wonder Lab at the Science Museum. This is David, who is in charge. Um, tell us more. Well, this is the Van de Graaff generator, which is named after the American physicist. And it's a bit like when you rub a balloon on your head and your hair stands on end, but we're doing it on a massive scale here. Um, we're generating so much electricity here, we can get some sparks. Would you like to see some? Yeah, okay, absolutely. Let's, let's see if we can get some off here. Oh, yes. And you can see the hair's reacting <laughs> I love the too. hair dancing. So that's that electricity jumping through the air, isn't it? And causing a spark and then making its way to the ground. But here's the thing, David, all right? I, I do love it, it's one of my favorites, but I've also spotted this. Well, you're right to spot this, Greg, because this is our amazing Tesla coil. Over here with the Van de Graaff, we can generate a load of electricity, but here we can generate a million volts. I want to see it. Okay. Can we? we absolutely, but first, it's very loud, so we need to put some ear protection on. Okay. So let's get our ear protectors on. Sure. And here we go. Let's go. I'm ready. Three, two, one. What? Oh, yes. That's what we're talking about. It's awesome, isn't it? That was amazing. Is it actually useful for anything? No, not at all. No. But you know what? It generates electricity. And electricity is very, very useful because it's something we use every day in our phones, in our computers, in buildings like here in the Science Museum as well. With electricity playing such an important role in our everyday lives, it's easy to take it for granted. But think about this. Just a hundred years ago, hardly any homes in Britain had an electricity supply. And even today, more than a billion people in the world don't have electricity supplied to their homes. Have you ever stopped and wondered what your life would be like without electricity? Could you cope? What would you do to entertain yourself after school? And are there any downsides to using electricity? Why not come up with some ideas for what you do to light your home or to keep your food fresh if you didn't have any electricity? You could have a look at films for inspiration or do an online search or check out some old paintings to see how it used to be done. Okay, so it's quite an interesting video. I'd like you to have a think about how your life would be different. So list some things, list five things that you do that uses electricity and how that would be different if you didn't have electricity anymore. What would you have to do instead? Okay, you should have listed down those things by now. We're going to move on. We've got a little learning check for us to do. So I would like you to get your piece of paper and your pen ready. Okay, there are six questions. So write down numbers one to six in your margin and you are going to answer whether the appliance uses electricity or a battery. So number one, what is the power source for a smoke alarm? Number one, what is the power source for a smoke alarm? Okay, make sure you've got your answer written down. The answers are going to come up as we go through each question. So make sure you've got that written down. Okay, the power source for a smoke alarm, let's see how you did, is a battery. Question two, what is the power source for a camera? What is the power source for a camera? Get your answer written down. Is it electricity? 
mains electricity or a battery? What is the power source for a camera? Okay, I'm hoping you've got it written down by now. The answer is a battery. A camera is powered by a battery. Okay, question three. What is the power source for a lamp? What is the power source for a lamp? Give you a few moments. Is it a battery or is it mains electricity for a lamp? Okay, I'm hoping you've got it written down. The answer is mains electricity. A lamp will plug in at the wall or be powered by mains electricity. Number four, what is the power source for an oven? What is the power source for an oven? How's your oven powered? Is it by mains electricity or a battery? Give you a few moments to write that answer down. Okay, I'm hoping you've gotten it down by now. The answer is mains electricity. Question five, what is the power source for a Nintendo Switch? What is the power source for a Nintendo Switch? Is a Nintendo Switch powered by mains electricity or by a battery? Give you a few moments and then we're going to get that answer. Okay, hoping you got it down by now. The answer is a battery. So you charge your Nintendo Switch, but it's, the Nintendo Switch is powered by a battery. And question six, what is the power source for a car? What is the power source by a, for a car? Is a car powered by mains electricity or by a battery? Get your answer down, give you a few moments. Okay, the answer is a battery. So well done if you managed to get those. If you've got all of those, you have shown that you can sort appliances that uses mains electricity from those that use battery power. That's on our knowledge check, our success criteria. So well done. We're now going to have a look at how do electronic, electrical devices work. So electrical devices work using a circuit. Energy is stored as chemical energy in cells and batteries. So the energy is stored in these batteries. When the torch is switched on, an electrical current flows through the circuit, dropping off the energy at the bulb producing light. So we can see that happening, the energy going around, the electricity going around our circuit. Okay. And that turns on our light bulb. An electrical circuit includes wires. What are these wires made from and why? What are the wires made from and why? Have a think. If you've got any ideas, you can jot those down. What are wires made from? And why are they made from that? I'm gonna give you a few moments to have a think about that. Okay. What are these wires made from and why? So the wires are made from metal on the inside and that metal is usually copper and they're made from plastic on the outside and we can see that in this picture here we've got our metal in the middle and our plastic around the outside. Electrical current can flow through metal but it can't flow through plastic. This keeps the electrical current in the wire and away from us to protect us. Okay, so it keeps the electrical current in this metal and it is protected by the plastic to stop it coming to us. What are electrical devices made from? So electrical devices must have metal on the inside so that the electrical current can flow through them to make them work. However, on the outside, like we can see in these pictures, they are often made from plastic and that doesn't let the electricity through. This means that when we touch them, we won't get an electric shock. Electricity or electrical currents can pass through our bodies, which can be very dangerous. Okay, I'm going to show you a video now. So you just need to watch this video. Okay, this video is going to be about the dangers of electricity. Take a look up there on the wall. Can you see there's a kind of mushroom looking thing sticking out? That one up there at the top. Well, that's absolutely buzzing with electricity. And what we're going to do is send this dummy closer and closer to the end of the mushroom. 
which is just like someone stupidly getting too close to an electric cable. You'll see why we're using the dummy in a minute, because this is a very dangerous experiment. OK, let's take the hoist up. All right, it's getting pretty close. It's about a metre away. Half a metre. Did you see that? The dummy hadn't even touched the source of the power when the spark leapt out to find it. We all rely on electricity, but electricity really can kill. Keep away from pylons, from local electricity substations, railway lines, and even old empty buildings. Danger signs are there to warn you, so don't ignore them. Okay, so that video really does highlight to us quite how dangerous electricity can be. We're going to have a look at electrical safety around the house. Here are some things that you shouldn't do around the house. Have a look. What is going on in these images? Give you a few moments to have a look at those to see what's going on. Okay, so we can see in this image here, in our first image, our socket has a lot of plugs in it and that plug is going to be overloaded. That extension lead has too many things plugged in and that won't be safe. Okay, so we shouldn't overload our plug sockets. In here we can see that this boy has got a hairdryer and it looks like some hair straighteners there, but he has got them in water. We should not mix electricity and water because that can give us electric shock. You can see his hair there. He has got an electric shock and we also should not put anything metal into things such as toasters or plug sockets that's very dangerous okay so that's some things that we should not be doing in the house or anywhere okay i've got an image on the screen there for you to have a look at there are some things that are very very wrong that should not be happening okay have a look at these images this image See if you can spot what is wrong. I'm going to just give you a few moments. You can pause the video, give yourself a time, give yourself time to have a look properly before I go through some answers with you. Okay. If you still haven't finished having a look, pause the video, give yourself some more time. So I'm going to reveal some of the things that are wrong in this picture. So one is over here, we can see we can't quite see too clearly, but we can see there that there are lots of things plugged into that plug socket, which is what we said not to do. Over here, we can see that that pan is overflowing. It's on too high, it's overflowing. We can see here we've got this cable trailing up onto the hob, which is not very safe. We've got a spillage on the floor, which again can be very dangerous. We've got chemicals in here. We've got a cable going into the cupboard. We've got chemicals. We've got the iron, which has been left on. We can see that that's hot and that's been left on with the cables trailing across the floor. We've got broken glass on the floor. There's a baby on the floor. We don't have broken glass on the floor with a baby around. We have got this heater here again, which is on the floor and exposed. That can be very hot. This lady's washing her hands and she's got water on her hands and she's touching a plug socket. And remember, we should not mix water and electricity. Over here, we've got the kettle is very close to the edge. It's going to have very hot water in and that could fall on someone and hurt them. OK, so you have a look, see how many of those you managed to find. Did you find oh, did you find any other issues going on here? Well done if you did. Okay, we're going to have a look inside a plug. So this is a plug, just like what you would have on your charger or on your fridge. Okay, we're going to have a look inside a plug at the wires and we're going to see what is happening. What do you see? So have a look, what can you see? What can you see? And why are the cables coated in plastic? We can see they're coated in this sort of plastic coating. Why is that? Have a think. Okay, so what can you see? You can see lots of metal in here. We've got a fuse here. We have our cables. 
coated in our plastic. And why are they cables coated in plastic? They are coated in plastic because the, plas the electricity cannot flow through the plastic and that insulates them and keeps the electricity away from us. So well done if that's what you said. So we can now explain how you stay safe around electricity. We've managed to tick off all three on our success criteria. So that is the end of our science lesson. You now need to go over to Purple Mash and to complete your lesson one quiz. Okay, well done year four.